Hello, everybody out there in Facebook land. Uh, I want to say hello from the uh, weather office, Todd Gutner. And um, we're in the midst of a pretty sizable winter storm, snowstorm, really the biggest one of the season for southern Maine. And there are some towns getting walloped right now over the southern half of the state. The thing is, this is pretty much just a southern half of state storm. It's never going to translate into a northern Maine snowstorm. So ski resorts and snowmobile country up north you know, while it's cold enough to make snow, which is great, there actually won't be much supplied by Mother Nature out of this particular storm system. Now, as we look at the uh, radar from space from up pretty far, you can make out that there uh, is the storm out here south of Cape Cod and down around Massachusetts and Rhode Island. They're getting some pretty big totals down here, too. Now, up north over Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont and upstate New York, you can see a very heavy band. It's called a mesoscale band. It's where you get some insane lift because the atmosphere is being stretched and pulled and you get a lot of lift within the precipitation and that leads to some very heavy snow rates. Some of the rates within this band throughout the morning and entering the afternoon are going to top two inches per hour. And some of these snowfall totals so far in upstate New York, Binghamton up through Albany, like Binghamton, New York has like 35 inches of snow from this storm. You know, there's there's two to three feet of snow through southern parts of Vermont and central New Hampshire right now, and there are several more hours to go. So there will possibly be a few towns in our area that actually pick up over 20 inches of snow when it's all said and done. Um, let's cruise in a little bit here, get a little closer and uh, show you what's going on first in southern Maine. Now, earlier this morning, the heaviest of the snow was actually right along the York County coastline, and we picked up a solid half a foot in like three hours. It was cranking. Then we got into this dry slot. You saw that hole in the precipitation for a while. Now it's filling back in, and the intensities will be picking up throughout the rest of the morning and into the early afternoon for a while. But it's really this band up here, up through the lakes of New Hampshire, right over Sebago Lake, right over Lewiston, Auburn, Looks like Augusta is getting into it and just around Bath, Brunswick, uh, Wiscasset too. That band extends all the way back into upstate New York where those snow rates were two to four inches per hour. So it's coming down and it's coming down sideways because of the heavy winds too that we have as well with the storm. I'll go up a little farther north. That band does continue. There's Wiscasset. All right. You can see it right over Wiscasset and gets over Camden too and Rockport and on up toward Lincolnville and Belfast. Now, there is some very light snow falling in the Bangor area. It's starting to get a little wispy out there and we're starting to see a little dusting. Um, we're not gonna see the big totals that Southern Maine gets, but there should be enough for the plows to have to go out, treat roads, plow roads. They're gonna be a little slippery here as we head through the afternoon, just not as bad as Southern parts of the state. Uh, let's take out take a look at a few webcams um, while we're at it and let's see if I can get to a better source for them there for a second. Hang on, folks. Just uh, bear with me. What happened to my webcams? Hmm. Very strange. Very strange. Well, here's one in Bar Harbor. We can show you that one. So it is snowing in Bar Harbor, Bass Harbor on MDI. Uh, the visibility is pretty good, though. So this is kind of like a finer snow and a lighter snow, even though it's getting whipped around by the wind. Uh, Mount Katahdin view looking across uh, South Twin Lake. Um, great visibility there. I, I don't think there are going to be any flakes that far north uh, at all. But as you can see, Katahdin is snow capped right now. Looks really pretty. Uh, let's go south now to Kenny Bunkport. And oof, man, that's what you call heavy snow. Uh, not much visibility there. I'd say that's a quarter to a half of a mile visibility in heavy blowing snow. I mean, these are near wet out conditions. So these are blizzard like conditions, not technically a blizzard. I haven't seen uh, sustained winds of 35 miles per hour or greater um, up to Sunday River. And yeah, I, I could tell you, I looked at this camera about three hours ago and I could see across the valley and I cannot now. So it's snowing down pretty good right now. Um, live cam in Portland. Oof, can't see anything. That's a quarter of a mile. Freeport, can't see much. Looks like the flakes are big and it's piling up. Look at it draped on some of the pines there. 
Um, I got any other ones I can show you? We can cruise around. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Here's another one in New York. I don't know if this one's working. Nope, not working. Good time. We did that. Um, let's see. Here's another Bar Harbor one looking across Frenchman Bay. Uh, that's a little worse. So, you know, the snow is a little heavier right there. Um, looks pretty good. Visibility's going down. That'll lead to accumulation real fast. Um, Keyser Lake. Uh, yep, can barely see across to the lake. Interesting that we're not seeing any ice on it yet, but after this cold spell, you know, some of the ponds are freezing up. I'm cautiously optimistic about playing some pond hockey this weekend. Um, I noticed some of the local ponds in town are definitely freezing over. We're going to have to clean up a little bit and clean off a space for us to skate, but hey, we'll do it. We'll do it to play some pond hockey. Um, that's for sure. Uh, up north, Sebec Lake, right in the center of the state. There's a little ice. Yep, definitely a little ice. Open water still, but also some ice. You can see the difference there as you look at the, uh, the water. So we're getting there with our ponds and lakes. Uh, and, th and this snow isn't going to be a bad thing for it. Um, just be real careful because you're not going to be able to see where it's ice and where it's water. You're not going to be able to tell if the ice is thick enough. Be real cautious as you go out to test the ice um, with everything snow covered. That, that could be easily be a problem. And when snowmobiles go out, you know, over the next couple of days, think about that too. Think about, um, you know, this ice is not very thick yet. You know, we had a pretty warm November and yes, the last few days have been frigid, but uh, as you can see, even up north, there's open water on some of these lakes. So this is gonna be a, a tough time, especially with the holidays and a lot of people having time off on vacation and things like that. Um, let me show you a little uh, timeline here uh, for the next, um, few hours Let me just get to my uh, yeah this is what I want right here okay I'll take you through the next few hours here um, no that's not what I want that's not what I want this is what I want okay um, so this is what we call the RPM model it's a mesoscale model so it, there's a lot of data points uh, in between each station so we get a good feel of where where the heavy snow is and where it's not and you know, picking it up fairly well over southern Maine with those darker shades of blue and purple, and then northern Maine virtually nothing. And that'll be the case right up through one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock fills in a little bit more. And then the storm finally starts to shift away. By four or five o'clock, we're down to some snow showers and flurries. Um, and it looks like, you know, we'll be clearing out overnight and we'll get back into some sunshine tomorrow. Um, I did update the snow map and, um, you know, it's, this is one of those tough storms where because of the banding, there'll be a couple of towns. It's like thunderstorms in the summertime. One town gets like two inches of rain from a thunderstorm rolling through. And then, you know, five miles down the road, you know, there's just like a couple of, you know, a couple of tenths of an inch of rain just because they got, they, they, they got the edge of the thunderstorm, you know. So that's the type of variation we'll see with these snowfall amounts. A general six to 12 that's been expanded north up through, through Lewiston, Auburn and into some of the Oxford Hills now um, to locally up to 20 inches. Um, that's just how it's going to play out. Places like uh, Parsons Field, um, Cornish, um, Casco maybe, Bridgeton maybe, uh, that area, it's certainly over in the New Hampshire lakes in central New Hampshire. You could be one of those spots. Acton, for instance, could be up around 20 inches of snow when it's all said and done. And then, you know, maybe close to the coastline, like down in Wells, where we had that, that dry slot for a while, maybe it's like eight or nine when it's all said and done. So you get the picture. There's going to be a lot of variation in that area that's in pink. And then as you go north, the amounts are going to taper off over a distance very quickly, like one to three for Bangor. And maybe it's two to three right there. You know, maybe it's on the higher end and down east coastline, three to six. So that's kind of how it's looking right now. Everything is going to taper off as I showed you later this afternoon and we'll have several storm free days. The other good thing that I want to point out before I send it off to Mike Slifer, um, because this storm and this snow is so cold and dry, it actually even with 20 inches, while that's a lot of snow and there'll be issues with where to store it and put it, it's going to be easy cleanup. You know, it's going to be a quick blade. Um, it's going to be a brush with a broom, you know, a few brushes with the broom, things like that. Um, before we get to Mike, I um, want to uh, uh, just do a little housekeeping here. 
you know, we'd love to see your pictures, your photos. Um, you know, if you can safely take them, uh, we'd, we'd love to see them. And the best way to, uh, to send them to us, to get them to us, and for us to access them and get them into our newscasts, on our social media stuff, would be through our News Center main app. And you get into your app store, um, and within that app, on the bottom right, there's a little section there called Near Me, N-E-A-R-M-E, -E, Near Main, Near Me. There's, there's, there's what, it, what it looks like. It's in the bottom right. And from there, you can upload pictures, and we can get them very easily. And it's actually really cool. You can see everybody else's pictures, too, by just navigating a map. It's so simple, so easy. So please, um, if you get a chance and you can do it safely, upload your photos, upload your videos, and we'll share them with you and the rest of our viewers. You know, you'll probably see them on one of our newscasts later on today. And make sure when you take that video or take that photo, do it horizontally with your phone, um, you know, like this, and not vertically with one hand. You're gonna use two hands instead, You're not one hand. So as we've been saying, it's like when you hold a hamburger or hold a sandwich not when you hold like a hot dog or your, or your sub, that kind of thing. Although if you get a big enough sub, you probably need two, two, two hands for that too. So anyway, hot dog, no. Hamburger, yes. All right, uh, Mike Slifer's been out in the storm all morning long. He started off in Kenny Bunkport, beautiful Dock Square, um, where they picked up a quick five, six inches while he was down there during the morning shows. He's moved a little bit. I believe he's in Biddeford or Saco right now. Uh, Mike, what are you seeing now? What is it like outside? What are you expecting? Hey, Todd, right on the Biddeford Saco line. And the first thing I did when I got here was dug my boots all the way to the ground. I'm not sure exactly how much snow has fallen, but we're getting to that double digit range for sure. I feel like, you know, the most uh, junior meteorologist right now. I forgot to bring a ruler to measure snow, but next time I'll be sure to have that one of those uh, with me so that we can actually take measurements here in the field. But take a look at what we've got. We've got blowing snow visibility down, I would say probably to a quarter of a mile, if not a little bit less. A couple things I want to mention. We talked earlier about how this was going to be light, fluffy snow, and that has not changed. I mean, it's just like powder. There's no hope for snowball snow. If that's what you're hoping for with this storm, I'd say the best way to spend time outside if you want to get out and play in it. Sledding, things like that, going to be great. Uh, snow forts and snowballs, not so much. The other thing that I want to mention here is we've got a great view of this bridge. And it allows me to be briefly nerdy and talk a bit about the science and the reason why bridges freeze first. So this is a great uh, viewpoint to see how the air under the bridge works to cool the bridge from both sides. So you have cold air below the bridge, cold air above, and it cools the bridge down from both sides. And that's why icy patches and snow are always issues on bridges first. But since it's been so cold, clearly we haven't had any issues accumulating that snow elsewhere. They've been clearing this parking lot since we got here. And I mean, even after they just made a few passes within the last 15 minutes. It's already snow covered again. It is coming down in buckets. I said it earlier this morning and I'm going to say it again. Todd has said it too. Would not be surprised to get some of these locations to actually register in uh, snow totals that end up above a foot, 18 inches, 20 inches in some spots, not out of the question, especially if these snow rates continue. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a, the lens is a little wet just from us standing out here. We haven't even been able to keep up with keeping the camera lens clear with the snow that's been falling. Shout out to uh, Sean Stackhouse for being the one to run the camera too. So I think this is what we're going to be dealing with here for at least the next few hours and into the early afternoon. Roads, super slick. Walking, super slick. Take time to get to your destinations. And if you don't have to go out, it's a great day to spend some time inside and uh, just watch the snow fall with a hot cup of coffee. We're going to wrap things up here. Like Todd said, best way to get in contact with us is through the Near Me section on our app. We love to see your pictures and videos, and you can keep up with us online on our website and on air for updates throughout the day. Reporting in Saco, meteorologist Mike Slifer, New Center, Maine.